The Cats made it three in a row in the Battle of the Bluegrass. Welcome into the show, Christy Thomas alongside Coach Mitchell. We have taken the show on the road inside Coach's beautiful home and an equally beautiful win over Louisville that we need to get to talking about, Coach. Congratulations on a big win over third-ranked Louisville. A little slow going in that one in the first half. Down by as many as 14, but you got to be proud with, about how your team battled back. Yeah, it was a good win for us. Louisville has a, a very excellent basketball team and uh, we knew it would be a tough test and we just came out uh, quite frankly Christy with a sluggish start and uh, credit Louisville for that they really took it to us but able to regroup uh, Michaela Epps made two big threes in the first half it really sort of sparked some energy back in the Memorial Coliseum and then second half was uh, pretty much all Wildcats really really got after it got on the boards started making some of the effort plays and uh, had two big threes by Denisha Pinkett, and, and then uh, Denisha Stallworth finally got on track in the second half. Big second half for her. She led the way with 16 as Kentucky wins its 43rd straight game at home against a non-conference opponent. Well, as Coach mentioned, a big contributor in that win over Louisville was Bernicia Pinkett, and she's a senior, and this time she's on Coach Mitchell's 30-second shot clock for the final time. 30 second shot clock this week. Welcome in everybody. It's the time of the show where you get to meet one of the Wildcats and you're meeting one of the icons of the Matthew Mitchell show. For years and years, she's been bringing joy into your home from Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, a senior, Bernicia Pickett. Bernicia, how are you today? I'm fine, coach. This is your final appearance on the 30 second shot clock. Now, I know you wish that it was your final appearance on the guitar tip, but we'll talk about that later. But tell us what it's like being a senior. It's great. I'm getting closer to getting my degree. Um, it's just gonna be an awesome time for me to get out into the real world and use everything that I've learned in college out in the real world. Have you enjoyed your time here in Lexington? I really have enjoyed my time. Now, can we think of any real funny memories that we have of, of anything that happened and, you know, say like something that crazy that Coach Mitchell did or something crazy that, you know, Samari, uh, who's the craziest person on the team? Is it Samari? Is it Kyvan, the new freshman? Is it you? You might be. Who is it? I would say Kyvan. Kyvan, oh gosh, we haven't met her on the 30 second shot clock yet, so she's she's a lot of fun, right? Funny. Any, any good story on Kyvan so far? She just has a very funny voice that she puts on when she say jokes, and it's hilarious. Okay, it's hilarious. So we'll be looking forward to that in the next 30 second shot clock. All right, yeah. now, you getting out in the real world, we're thinking about mm, mm, maybe dancing a little bit for maybe a little. Maybe a little. Maybe a little something, dancing. Something. What did you think about my dance at Big Blue Madness this year? It was hilarious. Hilarious? Hilarious. I was thinking more like outstanding. It was a One. good job, but it was funny at the same time. Oh, good, good. The costume is sort of ridiculous, right? Yeah. What, if you could be some kind of dancer, what kind of dancer are you going to be? Hip-hop dancer. Hip-hop dancer! I knew it! I knew it! Listen, everybody. I love this woman right here. She is so great. She's done so many great things at Kentucky, and we're just going to enjoy her senior year so much. I'm Coach Mitchell. That's Bernicia Pinkett, and that's the 30-second shot clock. We love having Bernicia Pinkett on the show as part of the Guitar Tip of the Week. And Coach, I know you're very proud of what she's doing on and off the court. Very proud, Christy. She has uh, really developed over her four and a half years here at Kentucky and going to be the first person in her family with a college degree. And uh, she's just done great, great things and really grown as a, a, a young woman here while she's been at Kentucky. So. She's like family to us and really, really proud of Bernicia Pinkett. Well, we're not through with Young Niche just yet. Coming up, she and Coach Mitchell are going to be on the guitar tip of the week. They're going to answer your questions and have some shout outs. Stay with us. Open eight. Ow! Wow! Come in, everybody. It's another edition of the guitar tip. What is that? What is that? I'm Coach Mitchell, joined by the Brave, the Bit. What it is, 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 is Sailor Rose has gotten in here and put stuff down in my guitar, and it's got it all messed up on the guitar tip of the week. I'm joined by the Brave, Busy, and the boisterous shooting guard from our nation's capital, Big Shot, Bernice Pinkett. Why do they call you Big Shot? Um. I can tell you why, because we won a game this past weekend. And you made some big shots. So now, forevermore, you'll be known as 
Big Shot Burn. <laughs> it's time for your Ask Young Niche, the game show that, is it really a game show? It's just sort of a segment within a segment. Yeah. It's Sweep Signation. It's a yes or no uh, question that she's asked. It's from Michael this week. Michael's in Elizabethtown. He wants to know, Young Niche, T-Pain or T-I? Yes. On to the shout outs to Brian and Sarah in Cincinnati, Ohio. They watch the show every week. Brian forces Sarah to watch the show every week. Why in the world would you have to force anybody to watch the show, young niece? You force me to play this guitar on this show every week. That's not funny. To Denise and Roy Call of Alexandria, Kentucky, we love the young one. Oh, my gracious, that head's just going to just <laughs> explode out the room. Uh, where am I? Teleprompter to Denise and Roy Carl of Alexander. Oh, I've already said that. Keep the tips coming. We're getting pretty good. To Brenda Crum Myers from Alma, Arkansas. Is this segment three minutes? Where's Alma, Arkansas? I don't. Have you been there? No. I didn't know either. So, Alma, Arkansas, it seems like a nice place to be. Take it away, young niece! To Meemaw Strauss in Lexington, Kentucky. To Emily, H Emily Huffman from Lextown, who says, Hey, Asia Bishop, keep draining three. Whoa. Cool. How about keep draining layups? Let the young <laughs> let the young one drain threes. Go ahead. To Bob and Kern Newsom and Ewing, Kentucky. Kern, <laughs> Kern, to Bob and Kern. It's Karen. It's not Austin Kerns. It's to Bob and Karen Newsom. Where are they live? Um, Ewing. Ewing, Kentucky. They what? love watching us play. I do too. And to everybody's favorite uncle, Bobby and Aunt Kay in Gallington, Tennessee. Did you say when we were in Murfreesboro? No. I gave him a hug. I love Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay. <laughs> the t-shirt goes to Brian and Sarah in Cincinnati. Sarah, stop. If you don't want to watch the show, Sarah, don't watch it. Don't make Brian force you to do it. And I'll tell you this. If somebody's forced you to be here, we'll take this up after. You see that Facebook page? Yeah. No, you don't. If you want to talk to me and the young one, write in on that Facebook. And that's the guitar tip of the week. Coming up, Coach calls out the Wildcat. We'll tell you what's going on around campus when we come back on Big Blue Cat Corner. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Big Blue Cat Corner, the new segment on the Matthew Mitchell Show, where last week, I'm very sorry that we disappointed you. It got totally off the rails. We uh, were thinking this would be a call-in portion of the segment. That's why this phone is here. But apparently we gave out a fax number and people's, uh, are, now there are several lawsuits for people with busted eardrums from calling the fax line. We also had a very unfortunate, let's bring our guest in, a very unfortunate situation last week on the Big Blue Cat Corner where we had our outstanding, record-breaking women's golf coach, Golda Johansson Borst, and, and we will interview her this week, and we apologize that this week it will be different. We're joined by two of the mascots here. But first of all, for some uh, the top story this week, there apparently are uh, ice crystals underneath the permafrost in the Arctic Circle that contain methane gas, which will now fuel our uh, all of our energy needs. We will just melt ice now to have uh, uh, energy. That will be refreshing since we're paying $4 a gallon in the gas tank. Also, breaking news from the Washington Post, apparently bad habits lead to poor results in your life. Fascinating stuff. Let's bring Golda in here right now. Uh, Golda, you, what a record-breaking year. Your third uh, year or fourth year or your third year. It was record-breaking. And you're... I'm sorry. I told you don't bring that up. I told you don't bring that up during this segment right now. We're going to talk to Golda. I told you don't bring it up. You cannot do, you cannot do more one-arm push-ups. You don't even do one-arm push-ups. All you do, what you do is you just get here and you just throw your shoulder down. That's not a one-arm push-up. You can't do a one-arm push-up. We're so sick of seeing that at the football games. You go one, two, and you're going like this the whole time. A one-arm push-up would be like that, but you just throw your shoulder down like that, and I'm, I'm sick of it. I've had more than I can take of this. That's going to be all that we have time for on the Big Blue Cat. Please, uh, Golda, would you please come in? We'll get to Golda next week, and we'll have her uh, full breakdown of all the women's golf action. I'm Matthew Mitchell. That's the Big Blue Cat Corner. Tell us what we're going to say. Coach and Jenna are preparing a salad with a leafy, tasty green you may never have heard of. The 
Coach's Kitchen is next. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen 7th season episode dose. <laughs> Been brushing up on my Espanol here on the off season, and we're rocking and rolling. And last week, Jenna, mm -hmm. besides him being in mid-season form, the the kitchen was alive last week. Did you not think so? Had a lot of there was an intensity to the kitchen that was palpable in the living rooms all over the country. Yes. You think so? Yes. And what did we find out last week is the most important meal of the day. Breakfast. And a lot of you wrote in and said you didn't know about this kale and the greens and all this stuff. It's not my recipe. What does that mean? I'm just letting people know if they didn't like it, it's not my recipe. So what is that? What are you <laughs> implying that, that the only recipes we can like is, or if they're your re recipes? No, I'm just saying. In well, fact, how many original recipes have you really come up with on this Coach's Kitchen? Every single one of them. Every single one of them? Well, yeah. what was last week? Yours. That was my first attempt? Yes. Well, maybe that explains the negative mail that we got yeah. back on the, on the various internets Pretty last much. week. Okay, now, well, we are sticking with this. Listen, it's, it's, it's the 1st of December here, basically. First week, we have the holidays coming up. You know you're just going to eat more than you can possibly ingest. And you're thinking about gaining some weight around the holidays? No, 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 no. We're going to keep you healthy here in the coach's yep. kitchen with a beautiful salad. Jenna, talk yep. to us about it. And tell us what we're going to okay. see this week in the Coach's Kitchen. <laughs> this is uh, kale salad. It's uh, real similar to one of our uh, favorite restaurants in town serves it. And then when we had uh, Presley Blue, one of our good friends, Erica, um, that's not oh it. Oh, my yet. gosh. One Wait a good, minute. Hold on. I'm talking now. One of our good friends, Erica, brought it over for us. Uh, was when we had one presses, of our good friends, Erica. So what? now to get to the recipe, um, it's a half a uh, lemon. You can squeeze half Let a fresh lemon. Let me tell you your mother. That's usually what well, my mother's recipe here. Now it's um, our good friend and now Erica. You can do a whole is. lemon depending how much dressing you want to make. Um, Why so. are you always trying to plug somebody on the show? Why oh can't you gosh. say something about me? I, I mean, I just feel so slighted on the coach's kitchen. Um, then all of you out there in TV a land little bit abuse me the Matthew, whole year. People want to hear the recipe. Mm. So uh, half a lemon, about a teaspoon of Dijon, um, maybe about a teaspoon when and a I half get to say something? of agave. And I don't have garlic, um, so a little bit of garlic, olive oil. Would you normally do garlic? Yeah, fresh clove of garlic. But since I'm out, I'm just doing a little bit of garlic, olive oil. Doesn't sound like you're very prepared for the coach's kitchen and right then, here. This is a major television um, show. You should be prepared. And then How are we uh, ever going to get signed by Food Network if we can't come up with the right ingredients? I don't understand. Um, equal parts, a little bit more. Say it's a, um, a fourth cup of lemon juice. You okay. want a little bit more of a fourth cup of olive oil. All right, gotcha. So now let's get going in. here. Now it looks like the clock's ticking. Let's talk okay. about some important things. Hold on. Here. A little bit of salt and pepper and that's the dressing. That's the dressing. Okay. Yep. All right. Now th th we learned last week, uh, good viewers out there and friends of ours, that a chef... Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! Where are you going? I Jenna, you know you can't leave the set and leave, walk out of the shop. What's wrong with you? We learned last week that a chef's most useful tool is clean hands. So I took my clean hands and I snapped up these kale pieces right here and they look beautiful. And since Jenna won't let me talk this week, I wanted you to know that get your hands clean, get in the kitchen, put some soap on them and use them as your best tool to make sure you can get all your duties done there's some, there's some lemon seeds in there. I know, I can't get them all out. I don't want to be, I'm going to break a tooth eating one of those lemon seeds in, trying, in my salad. See, I'm not putting them in there, though. I'm I just tell putting you the what, dressing that's in. sloppy, sloppy chef okay. work right there. All right, there. and then another thing you have to do that you can do with your hands is that kale is more uh, tough and fibrous than regular lettuce. Right. So you need to massage the kale once massage you put the dressing on. Massage the kale. I forgot that one, didn't, it, didn't you, folks? Aren't you glad the coach's kitchen's back where you get terms like massage the kale? I love it. Now we got some kind of beans or something we're going to okay. put on here. Hello. We got to get going. We're running out of time. All right. We you have go pine nuts. Put some beans on it there. Um, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan and then some grapes, it looks no, like. No, uh, cherry. All right. Now, if you want to interact with us, do you see that Facebook page? Yes. No, you don't. 
if you want to interact with us on the on the on the on the coach's kitchen here and have these wonderful recipes, you just come on back and, and talk to us and we're gonna be here all season, baby. Two down, about twelve to go. What we're we gonna tell the good folks. We'll see you next week. Think about ball. Coming up, Coach Mitchell talks about the importance of being able to handle the ball at any position. Coach Tip of the Week this week, it's the time in the show where we help our younger viewers become better players. I'm joined by freshmen from Lebanon, Kentucky, Kyvin Gooden Rogers. Smile. I'm joined by freshmen from Lebanon, Kentucky, Michaela Epps. And I'm joined by Junior from Toledo, Ohio, Asia Bishop. Listen, before you even start shooting, and you may be a youngster and you're not strong enough to get the ball up and shoot the ball, think about ball handling. So something we do every day, let's go ladies, we do two basketballs, spread out a little bit, spread out a little bit, let's go. And let's get, here's some two ball drills. There, you can do all sorts of things here, stationary. One high, one low. One high, one low. Listen to Michaela Epps taking charge of the drill, I love it. Switch it, switch it. One high, one low. So listen, and you can't let anybody tell you not to handle the basketball. Here they go. So you can do all sorts of things. All right, let's take it to the baseline. Take it to the baseline now. So you can do it stationary. Then you have some moves that you can do on the run here. Let's go. Let's go to free throw line and back, just alternating. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Watch this. So now your move. Stay down low. Stay down low. Stay down low. Uh, let's cross over. Let's cross over. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Crossing over, crossing over, crossing over. Good, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. All right, that's good, that's good. Pick up the basketball. So the point here is that don't let anybody tell you you can't handle the basketball. If you'll spend some time and you want to be a two-handed player, that's why we have the two basketballs. That helps get both hands strong. When you can handle the ball, you can help your team. That's the coach's tip of the week. Well, a great way to celebrate the holidays will be to get out to Rupp Arena and celebrate, cheer on the Cats as they take on Duke. Coach, we're trying to pack the house for that one. December 22nd, Rupp Arena. It's always been one of our uh, long-term goals here is to sell out Rupp Arena for a women's basketball game. And uh, this is a great time to do it with two great teams going at it. So close last year, more than 18,000 fans on hand to watch a game there. So you guys get on out, buy your tickets. We want to see you out there at Rupp Arena to help us cheer on the Cats as they take on Duke. December 22nd. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week.